Dash, how's that? Did you get it? Yeah, perfect. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Hey, you be good to see you again, man. Good to talk with you. Um, right. I. I guess, uh, I mean, with so many new guys, you know, on this year's team, uh, just what's been like getting to know everybody's strengths, weaknesses, their tendencies, and I know you've been at it a while now, but how difficult has that been for you? Um, at first, you know, I, when I first got here, I thought it was going to be a little challenging, but, um, you know, getting to know everybody and, and you know, especially with our, our staff, everybody made it, you know, it's like a family atmosphere um, from the beginning. So, um, you know, this is the, the closest I've ever gotten with people in such a short amount of time. I think we're all really, really good friends on the, off the court. Um, and I know that's only going to help us on the court down the line. So it was actually really, really easy getting along with everybody. And, you know, the, the basketball part, the field, you know, that's going to come with time, but I think we've done a really, really good job. Um, you know, coach Crean, um, does a good job of preaching, you know, kind of like togetherness and, and being, being one team kind of being one unit. So I think, um, you know, with his guidance and then, how how much we get along with each other, I think that's only going to help us. So it's, it's, it's actually been really a really smooth process, I think, um, just from my perspective. And just once again, your decision to come to, from Virginia, you had some other opportunities. You could have gone to a lot of different places. Why UGA? Um, I think it was just my my overall relationship with uh, Coach Crane. Um, you know, I've known him for a while, um, you know, dating back when he wasn't um, here at Georgia. He did some uh, you know, some some camps um, and things like that. And we met and then, you know, he was recruiting me out of high school. Um, and I really, you know, enjoyed getting to know him. Uh, ultimately, I ended up going to Virginia. But when I uh, entered the transfer portal, I kind of had an idea of that's who I wanted to be recruited by. And then throughout the process of me being in the transfer portal, um, I feel like he was just the most authentic um, and the most consistent. And, you know, he had a, a clear vision for what this team was going to look like and the kind of impact that I would have. And I, I felt like that was pretty um, representative of what I wanted to do. So um, for me, it was just the overall relationship with Coach Crean. And then, um, you know, I have a lot of family uh, in Atlanta. So just being close to them um, was kind of a big deal. So, um, you know, it, I'm glad uh, I made the decision. Thanks, man. Let's go next to uh, Mark Weiser and then Vance Levy. I want to ask you kind of, you know, what you're working on with your game personally as uh, you, know, you get further and further away. I guess it was a foot injury, right? Yep. You know, what is uh, what aspects have you been trying to improve on most as you get ready for the season? Um, from a physical standpoint, I think just, you know, my, my jump shooting um, and, and, you know, my, my defense, my off ball and on ball defense. I think um, one of the most important things for me is going to be more being more consistent with my three point shot. Um, I think I do a good job of kind of getting to the basket and creating fouls and things like that. But I think, um, you know, if I become a really, really consistent three point shooter, I think that's only going to help. Um, this team and, and my own offensive game. And then from a mental aspect, I think just being more of a leader. Um, you know, Coach Crean challenges me um, every day uh, to kind of use my voice and, and lead the team. So, you know, with that uh, kind of responsibility, it's, it's kind of driven me to become more vocal than I have in the past. Um, and it's still something I'm getting comfortable with, but I think I'm, I'm improving uh, daily on it. So I'm going to just continue to work on those things. So coming from, uh, you know, your one year at UVA, clearly th that they've made uh, getting to the tournament uh, a regular thing, and that, that's kind of what Georgia basketball strives strives to be. Uh, did you take some stuff away from that one year that you're able to implement into this team that's, like you said, having to get to know each other on the fly? Um, yeah, I think, you know, just uh, my overall um, experience – um, coming from Virginia and then, you know, coming from, uh, I went to, I feel like I went to a really, really uh, good high school that has a good foundation, um, Blair Academy in New Jersey. Um, there's a winning culture there. So I think just me being around um, winning uh, from such a, you know, from such an early age, I think that kind of helps me not only at the college level, but at the high school level, I think, you know, just kind of the people that I've been around have kind of given me guidance on, on what that looks like. And then on this team, you know, we have, um, we have a lot of guys, a lot of older guys, uh, Noah, um, who's been in college basketball for a long time, played at a high level. Aaron, you know, he went to the Final Four last year, played with Gonzaga, undefeated during the regular season. So um, just kind of, I think from just everything that I've, I've experienced, I kind of gather all that stuff. And that kind of helps me, you know, be the vocal leader that I was talking about on the court. So I think just from, from listening to, you know, people like Aaron and coming from Virginia and coming from a high school and, and things like that, I think that kind of just that whole, experience as a whole, um, everything that I've been through. And I'm still learning, you know, it's still a process for me, but I think um, just from being around people like that is, is only, you know, helping me 
understand what it takes to get, you know, get to that level and be an impactful person on a, on a team that reaches that level. And let's go next to Chip Towers and then Susan Falcon. Yeah, I just wonder, uh, you know, with your family, uh, you know, connections to the area, is Georgia a program that you've known about for a while and kind of recognized as as being a place with great potential? If you could just get all the guys, uh, you know, out of it, Atlanta and with all those connections close by to, uh, to come here to play basketball? Yeah, um, well, it started my uncle. I don't, I don't know if anybody is familiar, but my uncle was a head coach, um, or not a head coach, was the, on the staff. He got the head coach in Javik Kelsey, but he was an assistant coach under Coach Cream for a year when I was in high school. So um, through him, I became pretty familiar with, uh, you know, the program and then, you know, through Coach Cream recruiting me and, and just from paying attention from when I was in high school all the way up to my year at Virginia, um, I, think, um, I think I just did a, a pretty good job of, you know, recognizing uh, the things that, you know, Coach Cream has laid, like all the, you know, he's had a, uh, Nick Claxton and Edwards, he's had a lot of really good players here. Um, so I think, you know, that that was really important um, in my decision to come here. And then, you know, but I would say ultimately it was kind of, you know, the familiarity with my uncle, uh, him knowing Coach Green, him having a really good relationship with Coach Green. That's somebody that I trust. So, you know, if he if he felt good enough to come work for him and then, you know what I mean, say all the good things about him, it was easy. It was an easy decision for me. Susan, do you have a question? Okay, let's go to Catherine Lewis then. Yeah, so last week after the game, Coach Clean mentioned that he thought the team backed off too much um, defensively against Morehouse. So how, how have y'all been working on that in preparation for the opening of the regular season? Yeah, we've been focusing on uh, the defensive side a lot in practice. Um, we know this team, FIU, uh, they like to get a lot of threes up. Um, you know, they're really active offensively. Uh, they have a lot of, you know, good players who can really shoot. So that's kind of something we've been focusing on in, in practice, kind of um, how we're going to combat uh, their offensive aggression and shooting. And then, you know, we looked at uh, some of the film from Morehouse and we saw where we made mistakes. So um, I think just the important thing is just to keep working and try and not repeat those mistakes. And Coach Green has done a good job emphasizing, um, you know, the things we did wrong and, and how we're going to fix. So I think we got a pretty good idea of what we need to take care of. It's just about executing now. Okay, Jabri, thank you for your time and uh, good luck in tomorrow's game. Uh,